What's up, guys? It's Rob here, and we need to talk about the stock formerly known as Lucid Motors, now Lucid Group, ticker symbol LCID. Let's take a look at the chart because we have seen a massive dip on the day. We're down almost 10%. Now, this looks like an incredibly scary dip, right? You expect the news that accompanies this to be like the CEO died or you know the company's going bankrupt, right? Because this stock was sitting around $20 and has now seen lows of $15 in pre-market trading. So uh, what the heck happened, right? You, you guys are probably curious. Well, this is something that not a lot of investors are actually talking about, but this has nothing to do with their business or what actually happened with the company, right? This is actually just a stock event. Now, what I mean by that is that Today, September 1st, was the first day of a PIPE unlock, and PIPE stands for Private Investment in Public Equity. And this is essentially when investors buy a stock privately that is traded publicly, and there's actually um, an expiration date on when they have to hold those shares, right? They have to hold those shares for a certain amount of time. They bought these shares quite a while ago uh, for around $15. And uh, this, you know, seemed great to them, especially while this stock was pumping up to 64 uh, this essentially allows investors to get in at a slightly better price uh, that's not available to the public, right? And what just happened today was that expiration date was hit, right? They no longer had to hold this stock. And uh, as you can see on the day, a whole ton of those private investors sold it. Now, you can kind of tell, right? Even if you didn't know that news, you could kind of tell that this was a uh, private investors or at least a very experienced investors move, a move that was caused by them because as soon as trading started on the day at 4 a.m. Eastern time, this stock started dumping. And I don't know about you, but not a lot of retail traders are trading at 4 a.m. So <laughs> you can see that this stock did dump quite a bit just right off the bat as soon as those investors were allowed to sell their shares and you know hit $18, which is actually a long-term support level that this stock has had. You can see 18, uh, I'll zoom out to an even further out chart, 18 was where this stock dipped down to after its massive rally to 64, and we bounced off of it twice. And since then, it's been doing pretty good. However, uh, it wasn't able to hold that today, at least not uh, in the pre-market, right? We bounced up a little bit and then continued to sink down all the way to $15.26. However, we are now back around that support level of $18. So we're going to see if that holds. This will be a very key level to determine if this stock is going to remain um, you know, continue doing well, or if it's actually going to start tanking now that there are more shares available and uh, more traders are able to get their hands on shares for cheaper because they're just more in the market, right? Supply and demand. So what we have to look at with Lucid uh, is not just, you know, their uh, unlock, right? The unlock is important. I should have already revealed this. It allows investors to sell their shares. Uh, however, what's important to note is that their equity in this was about 10%. So expect a higher, uh, rather, you know, about 10% more shares to be available on the market. Now that could have some detrimental effects on the stock, right? If 10% more shares are available, it's almost as if the company just did a public offering and, you know, increased their share count by 10% because those shares were locked up. And that's what uh, all of this trading action was based off of, right? A certain amount of shares being available. And now that there's 10% more, it's very possible that the uh, company will be trading a little bit lower, right? It might not be exactly where it was beforehand. Um, What's important to note, though, is that Pipe did sell, or rather that Lucid did sell their Pipe shares for $15, right? Which you can actually see right here. Uh, the stock did not drop below $15, right? Because those investors wanted some kind of return on their stock. And once it was close to 15, they were like, hey, we may as well just hold, right? Why are we selling this for a 26 cent gain over the course of months that we've been holding this private equity? That doesn't make sense. And, uh, you know, they started uh, to, to slow their selling, basically. And... Uh, this stock ended up pumping back up. Now, what's uh, very interesting that I've noticed is you can actually see that over the past couple of days leading up to this, this stock has been tanking a bit. And you can see that before this, you know, we were doing decently well, right? We hit these lows of $18 as our support, and then we started bouncing around, and we've kind of been trading in this $20 range right here. Now, before this, a lot of investors were actually expecting, you know, this pipe news to lead to a big downturn in the stock, which is why we started seeing this downturn. A lot of investors... Uh, particularly experienced institutional investors who know to look for this stuff ahead of time, uh, realized, hey, this stock is probably going to take a pretty big dump. 10% more shares are about to be entering into the market, uh, you know, potentially, right? If all of those investors sold, though I doubt all of them sold, right? It's probably a little bit less than 10%. But you can see that's probably why this stock started tanking a little bit. And I actually did the math and added up 
the share counts that all of these days add up to, right? If you look at the volumes for all of these days, it was about 126 million shares that traded hands. And you can see that just today, we've already traded 104 million. So it is my suspicion that investors, institutional investors, were unloading their shares right here for decently high prices. And then unfortunately for the pipe investors, it looks like they got shafted by this trade, right? You know, as soon as they started selling heavily, this stock dumped and dumped and dumped, and they were selling probably back to those institutional investors for relatively low prices compared to what those institutional investors had been selling for in days prior. So uh, this was actually a really great move on institutions part. They were able to kind of nab some private equity from, uh, you know, potentially other institutions, but likely big whales. And uh, that actually was a great move on their part because they were able to get this stock and back in their hands for a rather cheap price. Now, where this stock will be going in the future, I do have some ideas, right? I don't think that we'll be trading below $18. I think that's a good support. And although, you know, sure, 10% more shares on the market, uh, you know, that's not great for the stock, but it's not actually bad for the company at all. Um, you know, everyone knew this was going to happen eventually, right? The pipe thing was not uh, private. Uh, or like a uh, secret deal, rather. It was uh, private, but it wasn't secret. So a lot of people knew that this was eventually going to happen. Like we saw the institution sold, and now they're just buying back those shares today. So I don't expect that we'll drop below 18 because this isn't actually that big of a fundamental change in the company. You know, maybe we'll stick around 18 for a while, uh, you know, stick around 20. Uh, but I just don't see this actually leading into a long-term downtrend in the stock because, as you can see, we were actually beginning an uptrend right here before a lot of investors were getting wary of the pipe release. So I do expect that we'll continue this uptrend eventually because Lucid is a good company and, uh, you know, they're a company of the future, right? They're in electric vehicles. I expect that that will be a big field in the future, uh, you know, with Tesla kind of paving the way for them. And I think that they'll be doing very well. So that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. If you want to do that, no pressure if you don't. But if you would like to, I would greatly appreciate that. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.